What's the difference between AI compressing and normal compressing? Let's find out. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and let me spill the tea straight away. The difference between an AI compressor and a regular compressor is that with AI compressing, the file can literally be compressed to 0.002% of its original size. Will it stay in good quality? No. But this only happens if you choose the largest compression rate. So imagine what it can do if you choose a smaller one. So to demonstrate the difference, let's open up the Uniconverter 16. The AI compressor is a new upgrade of the tool, so you'll only find it in the 16th edition of the Uniconverter. If you don't have the Uniconverter, you can get it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. Okay, so when you have it open, click on the compressor tool that you'll find right over here. Now, here you can import all of the files you'd like to compress to a smaller file size. Yes, you heard it right, you can batch compress the videos with this tool. In fact, batch converting, batch compressing and just batch processing in general is what the Uniconverter 16 does the best. When you have them imported, you may select the compression rate in two ways. You can select the same compression rate and compression mode for all of the files, or you can do so individually for the files. You just need to click on the settings button and then you can choose from the normal compressor and the AI compressor. I'll compress one file for demonstration purposes. So if you're doing the regular compressing mode, here you'll see the estimated output file size. To set up the compression ratio is very straightforward. You choose the percentage or the required file size and the two values are directly proportional. So for instance, this file is roughly 100 megabytes and at 10% it'll be 10 megabytes. Easy. And you can't go lower than this with a regular compressor. I need to mention that after the conversion it will still be good quality. So let's see. The process is done, now let's check out the converted clip. Like the converter said it would be, it's 10 megabytes and in decent quality. This compression method is good if you aim for a specific file size for instance, to fit an email attachment. Now, if you switch over to the AI compressor, you still have the same percentage ratios, but it can't determine the output file size. Let's see what it does at the same settings. Oh boy, it turned this 100 megabyte file into roughly 300 kilobytes. So it naturally has horrible quality, but let's see what happens if the compression ratio is, let's say, 50% or 90%. It turns it into about 1 megabyte and 6 megabyte, and the quality? Good as new. So, the AI compressor has a higher compression ratio at the same percentage, and that's the most important thing to know. So, just out of curiosity, let's see what happens if the ratio is 100%. And the result is about 11 megabytes. So this means that the AI compressor has the same compression ratio at a 100% as the normal compressor at 10%. And then the lower you go, the higher the compression ratio will be. So it's indirectly proportional. In this example, it goes something like this. That was a bit complicated, but are you amazed? Because I am. So if you want to have the most powerful video compressor, download the Uniconverter 16 from videoconverter.wondershare.com. So yeah, that's what AI compressing means and can do. It's really amazing. But that's all for today. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you in another video.